Hey, where are we headed? Well, I heard we're headed to the Green Mountain State. And for all you folks that don't know, that is Vermont. Yes, that large state up there in the Northeast that's called Vermont. Well, it's really small, but that's where we're headed to. And it is foliage season. We're leaving Florida now, and we're flying along. And we're headed up there. We're going to be doing a little bit of uh, being out in the woods. Now, one of the main reasons that I did fly up to Vermont was to see my grandson. But we also did take a day, and we got out in the woods. And this way here, you all could see some of the beautiful sights and see some of the beautiful things that Vermont has to offer. You will see a quite a few different videos on this trip and I hope you all do enjoy we're getting ready to land in New York right now look at that we're almost oh we are on the ground folks and there we go we have made it in record time just like flying away and here we go we're coming down around the mountains and it's almost to Vermont and here we go in out of a trail today right to trailhead yep this is where we're gonna be going right down in here well, let me bring you up here and show you what we're looking at Welcome to the Green Mountains of Vermont. And this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And no, I'm not in Florida anymore. Took a little vacation time. Came up here, been spending time with my grandson for the first time. It's been a beautiful week. But I wanted to take one day and get out in the woods and show you all where I came from. So many woods out here. So today I'm gonna to have a special guest. It's going to be my son. He wanted to come out and go with me. I'm on this trail. We're up in the Green Mountains. He knows where we are. Um, actually, this is where the trail ends. We have to cross this brook over here. And where we want to go is back off that way. So, we're going to be bringing you along. Hope you guys enjoy this. Something a little different on my channel that I have been dying to do to get out and get in the woods and help everybody out there understand a little bit about nature, survival, a little bit of everything. Just have a fun video. So I hope you all enjoy some of the scenery we're gonna see. And I'm gonna be posting pictures throughout the video of all the foliage and everything for everybody that doesn't live in an area where you get those kind of, well, colors in the fall. So stay tuned folks. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And you know what? We're about to get rocking and rolling.
Now, as y'all can see, this is what's called a white birch tree. And we're actually going to peel a little of this off. Just need a little piece. And we're going to take some of this because this is nature's fire starter right here, folks. This is something that's sometimes very hard to find in the south. White birch. That's what it looks like. It's like paper thin, highly flammable. Get yourself a fire going, which we're going to do here shortly. Let's move right on over here. This is the brook. This is what we're going to be crossing right down in here. We got to cross down in here because up here we have ourselves a nice big old beaver dam right there. And crossing beaver dams can be quite tricky. So you don't want to fall through. And the way they build up the dams and stuff, you want to make sure that you're doing it right. So we've chosen, we're going to cross right down in here because we have crossed here before. So we're going to be going across here and then we're going to be heading right out towards that direction, right out that way. So we're going to begin going here soon. Stay tuned. All right. Here we go, folks. Right across the river. As y'all can tell, it's totally season up here. And what we're actually looking for is an old hunting blind. There's a whole hunting blind up here and a, a whole hunting area. And we're going to go up and check out this blind and everything because it's pretty old. And we might look at redoing it for somebody. You know, they'll be pretty happy. One thing is, is when you're walking through thick woods like this, you always want to watch out for things are going to poke you in the eyes because these things will get you and as you can see they're dead so you just pull them right off now just so everybody knows we'll clarify it real quick you get to see him here in a minute uh the cameraman today is my son charles charles say hi how's it going so we're going to be heading on right out on here. I think it's just out this little way. It's been about 20 years since I've been in these woods over here. And as you all can see, there's no trails. So we're just making our own trails and everything else and watching out for things that are to get you. Little clearing over here. We're gonna hit over this. One 
one good thing is, if you don't know where you're going, and say you don't have any way to mark your trail, if you bend the branches back, it kind of gives you an idea when you come back, these new uh, breaks and stuff, you know you came through here. It's an easy way to find your way back. Sometimes you just got to whip out your trusty saw and kind of clear your little path. Now today I'm using the SOG. It's a short blade, it's not a real long blade, but it's really good for hiking and stuff like that because it's not this huge blade that you're always using. Or if you're just going out for a day in the woods. Now there used to be an old tree back here that had an old wooden tree stand built in it. And that's what we're looking for. And as you can see, I'll let the cameraman get up here a little bit. This looks like a game trail to me right through here. Where the game has been going through. Looks like it could be a little wet. We're gonna, we're gonna try it out and see what we got here. And we'll take it from there. I don't know how deep this might be. Is it gonna be waterproof? Yep. Goes back off that way too. There are, there are a lot of, uh, there's there's black bears up in here, deer, uh, all, the, all kinds of animals and stuff. And it's the, you know, the fall foliage. So what they're looking to do is, you know, they're all packing on the pounds and everything else. But black bears are generally more scared of me than they are of, you know, anything else. this goes that's how the game is coming through here so if you want to set traps or something that'd be a really good thing to do on these game trails
Oh, yeah. Hey, I think we got a visitor. Something's moving around over there. Let's go check it out. All right, if you want to kill that for a few minutes and... Again, and what we're going to do is we're going to try setting up just a little quick shelter right here. And we're just going to use a little bit of bank light, cordage, got a small little axe that'll fit in your backpack, my saw, my knife, and that's it. So we're going to get building on this and uh, hope you guys all enjoy the video. And here's here's my son, he's in the video now, How's he's going to be helping me build. So here we go. So, so far on this build, what we have done is we have got our, our roof structure. We took and we've latched these all off together. Those suckers aren't going anywhere. We have a middle beam that's going to run down through here. And as you can see, we've put these in. And these are going to be our rafters that go across here. And then we're going to use pine needles. So this is all secured down right through here. Be a nice little shelter to get out of the rain. 
Same thing at this end right here. You know, it's all in just tying this off, pulling it nice and tight, and this stuff ain't going nowhere. So, here we go, we're gonna keep going. Okay, so now we're putting on our roof. As you can see, here we're using pine branches, and we're taking, we're placing those up at the top, there, to give us protection if it did rain, or, you know, snow, one or the other. It's not going anywhere. It is a beautiful fall day, as you all can see. Beautiful day in the woods, nice breeze blowing, kind of cool. Well, we're sweating from uh, working out here, but it's coming together pretty good. So on the roof, we have two long poles to run from one tree to the other. We just use the trees as our existing poles and they're not gonna go anywhere. And then we just latch them all off, latch them all together, latch the front of here that is holding up everything on the front as far as the pine. The pine needles make an excellent blind so people can't see in. You can see out, there is a tarp right back in here, covered with some pine needles and stuff, so it kind of blends in even more than what it would without it. And you just lay it right on top. If you can find moss, it'd be really great. You could put that on top and make it almost a waterproof roof. All right, so the completed shelter come around if you need be we can open this up here as you can see it's on a right here it's on a swinging toggle it's tied up to here that's tied down to the top swing this out of the way and then you can step in perfect size for one person but you could put two people in here comfortably in emergency situation now this is a great little hunting blind also because you have as you can see a 360 degree view around your shelter and you come down if you look up see all the rafters And then, if need be, over here, there's another way that you can get out. Replace this, and then it is hidden. But you have a great view of what's going on around you.
lunch, we're going to be doing some Mountain House. Chili Mac with beef. We're going to be splitting that for lunch today. Out here working in the woods. Best thing to do. Backpacking, hiking, whatever you're doing out in the woods. Always make sure you got some of these with you because these things are awesome, lightweight, full of all the calories and nutrition that you do need. Make sure you got these. Medicine bottle, folks. Cotton balls and Vaseline. That's all you need. Self a nice little fire going. And white birch. There we go. That's all it takes, folks. Right there. So now, so we put this shelter together. It took us about three hours. Nice little shelter. It's all done with canopy and stuff. It's kind of more of a, like a hunting blind, if you want to put it that way. Um, but there's room in there for uh, two people. If you want to come around over here, I'll show you. We did use a tarp. But, if it was a quick shelter to get out of the rain, an emergency type situation, not something to live in, you can do this with just what Mother Nature gives you. And try to stay dry, get a little fire going if you can. And like I said, I did have a, a, a little tarp, put a tarp up, and this way here, it breaks the wind and stuff from the very back. So you could sit in there nice and comfortable and stay dry. Uh, lots of pine tree um, on top around the sides and everything else to help block out the wind and take care of all that kind of stuff but it'd be a nice little uh, shelter for the evening if you're stranded lost in the woods you know you never know what you can be up against here so now we got a little fire going and then uh, we're gonna get some water going and get us some food I'll take it, right? work we're having mountain house chili mac and beef folks and it's delicious just add water and we did it right over the fire hmm I tell you freeze dry coming right out of a bag for 25 years to 30 years just way to go right there folks 
survival preparedness. I'll talk to you in a little while. I'm going to finish eating this. Catch y'all. We got everything? Yep. And you're going. Right. So, here we go. We're heading out. Put the fire out and everything. Go to Crook's shelter today just to show you guys how to do it. You know, it would be a great emergency shelter. You could use it as a hunting blind, any of those things. A little paracord, and you're good to go. I mean, you can use whatever is out here. Now, I've been in the Green Mountains here for a week. And the first time I've been in the woods this week. But there's a lot of stuff that's going on out there in this world. Um, been kind of unplugged a little bit from everything. But I did check a little bit of the news and stuff, and with all the stuff that's going down out there and all the uncertainty and everything, make sure you people out there are just staying prepped and ready and making sure that you are thriving to survive and doing whatever you can to secure the future of your family. Make sure that you can feed them. Make sure that you understand how to survive in the wilderness. You know, that's a huge thing. If, you, if something ever did majorly happen, have a little bit of a knowledge, even if it's camping knowledge, folks, it's, it's better than nothing. Having ways to survive in your home, which is what most people are gonna do it. You know, most people can just stay in their homes. So you gotta make sure that you have your food and water, ways to filter your water, ways to cook and everything else to avoid a situation of having to come out in the woods if you do not know really what you are doing and how to build even a quick make such you know a little shelter here yeah this isn't like uh you know it's no castle folks but guess what an emergency situation something like this is better than sleeping somewhere out here i'm survival preparedness for beginners i'd like to thank you today for joining me on this video and there's going to be a little footage and stuff as we're walking out and doing all this kind of stuff we're going to start heading out of here Sun's starting to drop, so we want to get out of the woods before it gets dark. And you all stay safe, thrive, survive, and hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Till next time, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Catch you all on the flip side. Good. that is this video I hope you guys enjoy this I know it might be a little bit of long but this is the Green Mountains this is heaven up here
and there's plenty of woods to have a bug out location in this state. Once again, survival preparedness for beginners. Thank you for joining me on this nice little day hike, building a little shelter, having some lunch. Y'all say good, thrive, survive. And until next time, folks, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. See ya.